with luxurious and sophisticated interior and exterior together with a dynamic driving experience, I would like to introduce the all new 2016 Jaguar XJL portfolio in Glacier White. The XJ is a sporting luxury sedan that features a 3.0 liter V6 supercharged engine that pushes out 340 horsepower. The L in this case means this is the long wheel base model which gives you an additional 6 inches of leg space. When it comes to strength, the XJL body is made extensively of lightweight aluminum but it is extremely strong. This together with the V6 engine enables the XJL to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.7 seconds. You can also opt to upgrade the engine to the 5 liter V8 engine with 470 horsepower or 550 horsepower. With these two upgraded engines, the XJL can hit 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 4.9 seconds or 4.4 seconds. So unlike many other brands and models, the Jaguar XJL comes standard with many cool technologies. Some examples are the Smart Keyless Access System, Blind Spot Monitor, Soft Closing Doors, Panorama Glass Roof, Power Trunk, and the 8-inch Touchscreen Display with Navigation System. So here's the key fob to the car. On there, we have the Lock, Unlock, Trunk Release, and the panic button in red. Jaguar lettering on the side. We also have the headlight control there and Jaguar logo on the back. And as you'll notice, the side view mirror is currently folded. Immediately after you press unlock, side view mirror will automatically unfold. And again, this one does come with the smart keyless access entry as a standard. Simply put your hand behind the handle to unlock and press the button on the outer side to lock. First of all, it comes with the soft closing door feature. And here's a quick view of the interior. Interior looks very luxurious and clean. This specific interior comes in truffle cashew trims with truffle stitching. To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake and press the start button locate right here. So under the hood, this specific 2016 Jaguar XJL portfolio features a 3.0 liter V6 supercharged engine. The V6 engine is able to push out 340 horsepower along with 332 pound-foot of torque. It is a 8-speed automatic transmission with shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. The 2016 Jaguar XJL can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.7 seconds, and its top speed is electronically limited to 121 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, the XJ gets 18 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 21 miles per gallon. The gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode you're in, relax, sport, or winter. To further enhance gas mileage, you can enable the intelligent stop and start feature, which will automatically shut off the engine when you come to a complete stop such as red lights or when in traffic jams, and the engine will instantly restart when you lift your foot off the brake. Up front, there's the power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the chrome mesh grille with the iconic Jaguar badge in the center. Very attractive. For enhanced visibility, there's the standard full LED headlights with adaptive lighting and intelligent high beam assist. New full LED headlamps minimize power consumption with a distinctive beam pattern. The LED lights is close to the true daylight allowing the human eye to see objects more easily also. Front bar also have built in parking assist to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature, and power folding feature. Lastly, it also features the blind spot monitoring system on each side view mirror that uses radar technology to alert the driver of the course in the blind spot while changing lanes. Jaguar side fender. 
This Pacific XJ model comes with the optional 19 inch Toba polished wheels. Behind the wheels we have the advanced Jaguar braking system that includes emergency brake assist, electronic brake force distribution, dynamic stability control, and cornering brake control. All four wheels are indeed equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, the first thing we have is the middle LED brake light located behind the rear windshield. Moving down, there's the rear view camera that automatically turns on when you put the car into reverse, giving the driver a complete view of the rear. On both sides are the eye-catching LED tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. Parking assists are also built into the rear that automatically notifies the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. At the bottom, we have the eye-catching black rear diffuser that hugs the uh, dual chrome exhaust tip. Here's a closer look at it. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, all you have to do is push in. And the SJ does require a premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check what's inside the trunk. To open the trunk, there's this button on the right hand side here. Simply press this once to open. And as you can see, it's very spacious. Let's see what's over here. Here's your fuse box. And if we lift this up, we have your spare tire along with all your tools and the core battery. Trunk lighting there. And you can simply pull this out to release yourself if you accidentally lock yourself inside the trunk. To close the trunk, simply press this button to activate the power feature. Here's a complete view of the top. Now again, this one does come with the full panorama roof. Looks very sporty. Here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is with the roof fully open. Looks very sporty. A lot of luxurious cars are moving towards this trend where the glass lift upwards as it goes back, which looks very cool and sporty. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. There's a wood trim looks very luxurious meridian speakers door lock and unlock button there over here we have three memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat four power window control at the bottom we have the window lock along with the child proof lock button on top side view mirror control if you press both button at the same time side view mirror will close will fold I mean and if you press both button again it will unfold Have a small storage spot here and side door storage compartment. Jack Gore door seal, brake and gas pedal, hood release lever, multiple front seat control, include lumbar support. And here's a closer look at the driver's seat. Again, looks very luxurious and clean.
adjustable seat belt placement. The lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors and the same goes for the soft closing feature. Here's a quick view of the back seat. Same style design as the front. You also have the uh, manual sunshade cover back here. Simply pull it up and uh, slip it into uh, place. Pretty nice feature to have. And as you can see, it rests nicely in there. Door lock and unlock control button also have back have it back here. Jack War logo there. Here we have the power window control along with a removable ashtray. Side door storage compartments. Jack War door sealed are seen on all four sides. Now again, I am five foot seven, so this gives you a better idea of how much leg space you will have. This one is the long wheel base version again and it does give you an extra 5 inch of leg space so I have no trouble with leg space back here. Here's a complete view of the front for sitting in the back. The middle portion kind of remind me of Mickey Mouse. Two air vents back here and it is adjustable and you can twist the middle portion to close or unclose the uh, vents. Complete AC heat control back here. Two uh, core torture there, or can you can use that as a uh, cigarette lighter? Middle portion is raised up. Back seat compartment. And let's check out the middle portion here. Here we have uh, more storage compartment. And two cup holders in here, along with storage compartment on the side. Pretty unique compared to others. Here's a closer look at the seat. This one does have the built-in latch system. Headrest is also uh, controllable and uh, movable. Seat belt looks very nice in contrast with the uh, seat there. On top, on both sides, we have the uh, hand bore and have a spot for you to hang anything you need there. Directly above our head, we have the uh, different lighting control. And in the middle, we have the uh, top sunshade cover control you can control the rear portion back here and the front is controlling the front and you also have another button here which allows you to uh, raise and lower the uh, rear sunshade cover here And in front of the uh, passenger on top, on both sides, we have a huge piece of mirror with lighting on both sides. And again, this comes in handy when you have uh, female passengers. Also have hook on this side and uh, the other one also. Very similar to the uh, BMW M models or the 7 series lighting there. And we're back in the driver's seat. Here we have the half leather wrap along with the wood steering wheel. Looks and feel very luxurious. Over here we have the different audio modes control, volume control, and channel control. Bluetooth phone answering option with voice command. And on the back here we have the heated steering wheel control function. Jaguar logo in the middle with the horn. Over here we have the different uh, 
control selection in which allows you to control everything that's going to be displayed on the uh, digital dash here. Very nice. And down here we have your cruise control. Behind the steering wheel we have uh, the standard uh, gear shift pattern, one on the right and another on the left. Here's your windshield wiper control. Over here we have your headlights control and the button on the end is used to reset the uh, trip button. Way in the back there, we have a uh, smaller knob here. This is used to control the uh, steering wheel placement. You can put it on manual or just leave it in auto and it'll automatically uh, control it for you, adjust it for you based on the uh, seat placement. Driver air vent. Again, you can twist this to cover or uncover the uh, vent. Trunk release button and interior lighting control. Driver sun visor on top with a paper clip or credit card holder on the side there with mirror and light. You can also pull this over to the side for better sun coverage. Moving over to the middle, we have two additional air vents with an analog clock in the middle. Again, this uh, reminds me of Mickey Mouse for some reason. Right below that, we have the beautiful and gorgeous screen display. It is fully touchscreen. As you can see, they're very simple layout. And touchscreen is very sensitive. On the side, we have the engine start and stop button. And here we have the power button to control the uh, navigation system or everything there. Home screen, camera view. Those are the side view cameras. Radio, Bluetooth phone pairing. And there's your navigation. You have to set this up first before you can uh, see the navigation view. Let's see what we have here. It wants you to agree to all the terms and things like that. And there's your navigation system display. Very nice. Moving down in the middle. That's where you insert your CD. Volume control here. And you can press down to turn on or off the eco stop and start system there it also tell you if it's on or off here has a light control in the middle and we have complete AC heat climate control two cup holders again very nice design I think I like it better when it's close. And here's your gear shift box to control this. Push your foot down the brake, twist it over to R to put the coin to reverse. When you do so, rear view camera automatically display here on the screen with guided lines which move according to the movement of the steering wheel. Very nice safety feature. Side view mirror also tilts down giving you a complete view of the rear. As you can see there. When I put it into a park it automatically raises back up put into R, it automatically lowers. N for neutral, D for drive, and you notice right here it's stuck. In order to put into a sport, you have to press this down, then twist over to the right. After that, you can simply use the gear shift paddle behind the steering wheel to change gears. And the gearbox does lower when you turn the engine off. And it automatically races when you turn the engine on. Very futuristic. Below that we have your traction control and different driving mode control.
there's a different driving modes control there next is your power brake control lift up to activate and to deactivate push your foot down the brake then press down to deactivate the parking brake here we have a, a small slot for you to put anything you need it fits a phone if you put it in there it fits very nicely middle armrest compartment let's see inside we have uh, two USB inputs along with a SIM slot there and a 12 volt core charge outlet very nice gloves box compartment simply touch this button here on top it's not really a button all you have to do is touch it and it'll open and here's a complete view of the dash looks very clean again and as you can see the wood trims runs from the door all the way forward to the front dash and throughout the car looks very luxurious moving up we have the rear view mirror with the universal garage door opener here you can simply input the codes and use those buttons to close and open your garage doors on top on both sides the first thing we have is the uh, emergency roadside assistant buttons press that and you'll be automatically connect Next we have the touch sensitive lighting control and as you can see there very nice simply touch once to turn on or off. Next we have the parking assist control and the top moon roof control covers and here's the rear sunshade cover control also. Now the front can control both uh, front and rear sunshade cover control for the top. The back passenger can only control the back portion. And there's a tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this car below. For more future car reviews, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out our official Facebook page for everyday activity. Again, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see everyone in the next video review.